Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, so in this video we're going to be unboxing the Space Marine Storm Raven gunship. Um, so I know this model is fairly old, um, as you can see by the way the box is stylized and the fact that this is designed for the older Space Marines and not Primaris. Um, but this is one of the models that I've always wanted just because of the shenanigans that you can ensue with it. Um, even though it has no practical place within my army, I just think it's really cool. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it has a lot of guns, but the thing that really makes me giggle is that it is a transport, and it can transport uh, 12 Space Marines of, again, the older variant, not Primaris, and a Dreadnought. Yes, that's right, it is a flyer that can transport a Dreadnought. Um, <laughs> if you're familiar with, you know, 40k in general, you know that there's the Thunderhawk, which is kind of the massive transport I think it can transport something like 40 Marines and a Dreadnought, but that's a uh, Forge World model, and it's something like $850 US. Um, it's ridiculous, and it's also considered a Lord of War, so it's super expensive point-wise. The Storm Raven is a much more affordable version, both uh, cash and uh, point-wise. Um, so let's go ahead and get it open here. Oh god, every time. One of these days, I'm going to be able to get the plastic wrap off in one one move. Okay. All right, and I believe this just opens up like. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so let's take a look and see what we've got inside here. Um, all right, so we've got the clear plastic sprue, which is for the uh, cockpit and the turret as well. Very nice. Uh, the flying stand, which I have one of these because I have a uh, Valkyrie. If you watched my uh, Cadian showcase, I have my Valkyrie, so that's pretty familiar. Here's like a lot of the bigger armor panels. Of course, got to have the obligatory Aquila or Aquila, however you say it. I love the Space Marine vehicles. I love most 40k vehicles, if I'm honest. Um, just the, like, boxiness of them, the fact that by any rules of physics, they probably shouldn't actually function, but they do. Ooh, gosh, here's a bunch of the guns and stuff. So we've got two, I believe, two Space Marines we can put together here, two Tech Marines, rather, one pilot and one gunner. And just a boatload of different <laughs> guns and stuff. This thing has... Like I said, quite a few guns. It's basically a uh, repulsor in the sky. Um, it has just a lot of firepower, a lot of transport capability. And I'm very sad that most of the old vehicles aren't going to be... I don't know. I, they're probably not going to be around much longer because, again, GW is pushing for the whole Primaris line now. Um, hence, you know, not being able to put Primaris Marines into a Storm Raven or a Land Raider or things like that. Um, and they are kind of working on replacing a lot of them. They came out with the Repulsor and the Impulsor. I'm expecting a similar idea, at least. Maybe not necessarily as ridiculous as the Storm Raven, but some sort of flyer transport that can transport troops. Maybe a Dreadnought? I don't know. The uh, Redemptor Dreadnought is pretty huge. Um, so that would be quite a feat. Um, there's the actual base. And the last sprue here. Just again, the thing with the vehicles in 40k too is they're super simple to put together because they do have these massive pieces. Ooh, are those chapter specific? Ooh, look at that. So I had no idea these came with it, but they actually come with the winged blood drop of the blood angels. And then the stabby book of, I don't know who, it has the Inquisition on it, so maybe Grey Knights? Perhaps? Because I think that's the, uh, let's see, if we look at the box here. So yeah, so it's obviously Blood Angels there, but I think it's on the back of the box. Oh yeah, there you go. So it's like, yeah, Grey Knights. Interesting. Thought about playing Grey Knights, but I don't know. I have too many armies as is. Uh, yeah, and like I said, it's a, uh, it's an old kit, so it's got the much older style of assembly manual. So hopefully it'll be easier to put together, but yeah, not much in the box, 
which I mean, that's one of the things I like about the vehicle kits is usually you only have like three or four sprues and they're pretty large panels for the most part. So it's not like it's gonna be too difficult to put it together. Um, yeah, there's a lot of detail on this too, which I really enjoy. All the different little thrusters and things like that. You can see the turbines and all the door panels too. So I think you have the option between putting the uh, hurricane bolters on the side and not doing it. I don't know why you wouldn't, because hurricane bolters just dish out so much firepower, but it may make more sense point-wise. I don't know. But I've got time to figure it out. Um, but yeah, so that's a really cool kit. And like I said, I, I know this is an old kit, but I it's one of the ones I've always wanted to buy just because of the sheer ridiculous of it, being able to basically airdrop a dreadnought. Um, but then also because I am a little concerned that as the Primaris wave continues forward, uh, interesting models like this are kind of going to be put to the wayside and, you know, retired. Um, anyways, uh, if you guys like the video, please hit the like button, uh, and be sure to subscribe so you can see all my new videos as soon as they appear. Um, and to my Patreon supporters, I love you guys. You guys make this happen and we will see you all in the next video.